Here's my pump. The current problem I'm having is when it turns on these this uh, the contacts here are bouncing and I believe the reason why they're bouncing is because the connection here going into the back is is mounted so closely to the pump that when the pump kicks in it immediately surges to the switch which causes the bouncing so my plan is to take the current connection here and to put it see we'll follow it along it goes to here back along the wall and over to the pressure tank it's about a six foot difference and I'm gonna try to hook it up to there and see if we can't change that also I went through a switch in about 40 days because it was it was bouncing like that causing this the contacts to, to get burnt and not be able to make contact when it closes regularly so we want to try to avoid that all right I'm going to try to show this to you um, I've, I'm running the water now so the contacts are eventually going to hit the, the problem with the bouncing occurs about 75 percent of the time so we'll see if I can give you an idea exactly what it looks like. Now you're seeing it. Now I'm going to try to fix it. Okay, I've got my new connection all hooked up, and I'm going to show you in a few minutes, or hopefully not a few minutes, hopefully within a minute, how the new uh, connection is working as far as the uh, contacts not bouncing hopefully Nice good contact. And no bouncing. And I'll show you exactly how I did it. I used that PVC tubing. In my case, I had six foot of PVC tubing. I ran it down underneath the, the uh, pump bracket up through the up through there around down and right in front of the pressure tank six feet away apparently that was the trick it, the 
I believe what the problem was when the pump would kick on it would and, and the uh, tube was hooked up directly to the pump it caused an instant surge when the pump would kick on and and uh, start running the water but by putting that further away six feet away from the pump it helped to stabilize that and so not only are we six feet away one way but we've got six feet coming back the other way so we're actually about 12 feet away and that seems to have cured it what I ended up using was a three-way PVC connector in my case I had three three-quarter inch existing uh, PVC existing there so I've got three-quarter inches on both sides and the top connection is a half inch it's a um, it's so half inch um, threaded oh, that's the word I'm looking for half inch threaded and what I used for that going into the half inch threaded is this Watts Quick Connect PL-3007 adapter. It's real easy. I just use some Teflon tape on the one side, then I screwed it in, and then on the other side it's a, a Quick Connect so a quick connect con connection so I really really like those all you do is simply take the pre-existing tubing push it right in make sure you push it in straight through firmly until it hits the bottom and not just lightly because you might not have it in all the way so give it a good solid push make sure it's in there as far as the connection going back over to the, the the pump. Oh, found a leak. What I used was the pre existing connection. And I'm going to have to work on that. Might have to snug it up. But anyhow, that's what I did. And good luck with yours. A couple other things I just thought about real quick is when you remove this line from here make sure you plug the hole so you don't have to run to the hardware store an extra time and this is quarter inch PVC line so when you uh, go to the hardware store and buy it you'll know what you're getting and I think that's it